Hi, welcome to Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, we will learn to send an automatic welcome email to a new Shopify customer through Gmail. Of course, you know this, since Shopify and Gmail are two different companies, there is no connection between them. In such scenarios, you need to bring a third app to integrate them both. In this video, we will use a software called Pabli Connect to integrate Shopify to Gmail. So after this integration is successful, every time a new customer creates an account in your Shopify store, he will be welcomed through a warm email sent by Gmail. It's actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First visit Pabli Connect website. This is the website of Pabli Connect. Here click on sign in. Once you enter the dashboard, fix your attention to the connect part. Here click on access now. Ok, in the right corner you will find create new workflow, click it. Now a dialog box appears in front of you, here you have to enter a name, I am going to give it as Shopify to Gmail. Then click on save. When you click on save, a pop up window will appear in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Now in the choose app, change it from webhook to Shopify. Shopify. In the choose method, change it from new card to new customer. So basically it means that whenever a new customer is created or a new customer account is created in Shopify, the system will trigger. Now let's go to Shopify. Here on the left bottom you will find settings. Click on settings. Then click on notifications. So this is the notification page. Scroll down. You will find webhooks. Click on create webhook. So a dialog box has appeared in front of you. Here in the event, change it from card creation to customer creation. The format will remain same as JSON. Now coming to the most important part, the URL. Here in the blank, you have to fill this webhook URL. So just copy it and paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same and then click on save webhook. Ok, so it's showing that the webhook has been saved successfully. Ok, so it basically means that the Shopify has been integrated to Pabli Connect. So uh, let's see whether the Pabli Connect can receive any customer detail or any customer data when a new customer account has been created. To do that, let's go to Pabli Connect and click on capture webhook response. So it's showing that it's waiting for a webhook response. Go back to Shopify and click on online store. So let's create a new customer. Create account. First name is Edis. Last name is uh, Nash. Email Edis Nash. Okay, so we have basically created a so basically we have uh, created an account, the first name is Edis, the last name is Nashak and the email is edisnashak265 at the rate gmail.com. Then click on create. Ok, I am not a robot. Submit. Ok, so let's see whether Public Connect has received this information or not. It's waiting for the response. Give it one or two seconds. Yes, the data has been captured. The email is edisnashat265 at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Edis, the last name is Nashat. And the currency mode is INR, Indian rupee. Okay, so well, the first stage of integration is over. That is, we have connected Pabli Connect to Shopify. Okay, so basically, this data, this new customer's data, has to be synced with Gmail. Okay, so do that. Let's go to the plus button. When you click on the plus button, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the action window. In the choose app, change it from API to Gmail. In the choose method, let's keep it as send an email. Then click on connect with Gmail. In the previous credentials, select your credentials. And in the select your credentials, we have to keep it as new credentials. The authorized application will remain same and click on collect, connect. Now to choose an account, I am going to 
choose this account. Okay, it's asking to confirm my choice. I'm going to click as allow. Okay, it's showing that the authorization is successful. Click on OK. Okay, so that now the authorization is successful. It is showing me a set of blanks. Okay, we have to fill in this blank to create a format of the email. In the recipient name, we have to type the customer's name. That is, it is. This is the data we have acquired from Pabli Connect. Okay, this is the data of the customer, the first name of the customer. In the recipient email, we have to type the email of the customer. Okay, from name, that should be my name. From email, that should be my email. The email subject. That is welcome. We are just giving a welcome. The email subject. Okay, so uh, I'm going to type so welcome to the team. I hope we can build a big together thanks again let's add person's name to it then click on save and send test request okay so it's showing that the data the mail has been The API response is showing that the mail has been sent. Okay, so let's check this Edis Nashik account whether the mail has been sent or not. So this is the customer's email. Let's see whether the data has been received. Whether the email, yes. So he has got the email, the welcome email from me. Okay, so this is uh, my name and this is the message. Welcome to the team. I hope we can build a big business together. Thanks again, it is. The presence of uh, this email in the customer's account shows that Shopify has been successfully integrated with Gmail thanks to Pabli Connect. So every time a new customer account gets created in Shopify, they will be immediately welcomed through a welcome email sent by Gmail. This is the beauty of Pabli Connect. You can do ton more of integrations with Pabli Connect. But thanks for now.